Okay, I got here a 2018 Chevy Express. Um, customer complaint is the check engine lights on. Car runs fine otherwise, I think. So I did a scan here. So we got here. All right, that's nothing. It's history. But, okay, we have a little tire sensor. In the ECM, we got fuel pump control module requested mill illumination. Now, fuel pump control module on these cars, I'm almost positive, is a chassis control module. So, if we go to the chassis control module, we got ignition, on start, switch circuit, low voltage. Okay, that seems pretty straightforward. So, let's go in there. Let's enter it. We'll go to read data stream, fuel system data. Let's um, we'll just select all. And we got 45 psi desired. Ignition one signal is zero volts. So that's our issue right here. So now we're just going to pull up a diagram, see how this thing's laid out, and then. I don't know, check the fuse, check the wire at the module, and see what we got. Alright, so we're going to go here to diagrams. Not only. Maybe here. Right here, chassis control module. So what do we got here? We have a constant power. We got serial data, pressure sensor signal, fuel pump control, more serial data, fuel pressure control relay, run crank ignition one voltage. This is where we're getting our code on this pink wire. Where does that come from? It comes from the FSCM ignition fuse, 10 amp. Hot with ignition run crank relay energized. This underhood fuse block. All right, let's go look up that fuse. Alright, the fuse box is down here. Yeah, this is one of the worst fuse box designs ever. It's like covered in power steering fluid from here. Alright, we need this fuse number six, FSCM ignition. This fuse number six, which is two big ones. It is one, two, three, four, and one, two, this guy right here. So I'm gonna get a test light check the fuse over there. All right, testing my test light to battery negative. If I touch a power, it lights up. All right, so I'm going to go to that fuse right here. I got power on one side and power on the other. All right, so this fuse seems good. And right, now I'm going to go onto the truck to this module. It's on the frame rail and I'm going to see if we have power there. All right, so I'm under the truck on the left frame rail, and it clearly looks like someone's been here before. This harness right here is open. This, I don't know if that's OEM or not. This is a zip tie. Um, yeah, this was zip tie. So someone was at this harness. Someone was looking for this problem, it looks like. All right, so let's see the least intrusive way to do this. I'm going to try to come in over here. Actually, we'll first start right here. Let me get see which wire color it is. I think it was pink. Here's a red and white. Let me get the diagram. Okay. So, the ignition fuse 10 amp is a pink wire. 
and it goes to 21 on the module. Is there a pink wire here? I would assume this has to be it. No? Hmm. Maybe it's in here. There's a bunch of wires here. Because there's no plain pink wire. Alright, I'm gonna have to unplug this. Which there's actually no it's all missing. It's full of sand. Oh boy, there's a mess. Alright, now let's find pin twenty one. Here, so wait, I know this one's red and white right here. So I can figure it out like this. This one's red and white. Let's see which pin number is red and white. Red and white is pin number one. So that means this guy right here now is pin number one. If this one's pin number one, so this is pin 13. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. It's this guy right here. This has to be the pink wire. So let me get a, a probe. Stick it in here. Right, here we got pin 14. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Let's stick it in now. I'm going to get this light. Let's see if we have power right over here on this wire. Okay. So I got here my power probe extension, which I'm plugging in my test light to, to battery negative. Now, if I touch a positive, which is the other side of this extension, it lights up. So now I have the car on, I'm front probed into pin 21, which should be ignition power. And I got nothing. Now this is supposed to be a pink wire. I don't see any pink wires here. So I'm going to have to actually um, take the back off this so I can see which wire it is going into pin 21. And we'll check over there. Alright, so if I'm looking at this chart over here, it says pin 21, which is the run crank ignition 1 voltage, is a violet and green wire. So I'm going to look for that first before I get this back off because it doesn't look like it's coming off easily. So, what do we got here? Let's look right here. I'm going to person right here, see if we have any power. And no. Oh boy, where would this be missing the power? Okay, I got to make sure this is the right wire. So. I gotta get this thing off. All right, I got the back off. Now, red and white, we're worried about pin 21. So, if this is pin 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. It is four from the end on this side. So we got one, two, three, four. Right. So this is it. This wire should have power on it. Which is this wire, which doesn't have power. We tested it. Now, this is a nice long wire. It goes along the harness all the way over there. Up here, down here, and up there to the front. So, I'm trying to think the best spot is the best spot to go to the fuse box and check underneath it. Or should we start off by just tapping in somewhere right in the middle? Let's see, right here. See if we can find that wire. And then decide. We'll see if the problem's over here or further upstream. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is crazy. Uh, I'm not gonna tap in there. I'm gonna go to the front first. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, like that. All right, so I'm gonna pull this fuse box out.
Okay, I got the fuse box out. Now, this is the connector, and this is pin uh, right here, pin A8. This is where it should be, and this is the wire that goes down. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a ground through this wire with a jumper wire, and then I'm gonna use a test light at the, at over, at the, at the actual module and see if I'm getting a ground I'll put whatever a test light and see if I'm getting to a battery positive and see if it lights my test light. And then I'll know the wiring from here to there is good. And then I'll just, I guess, it, okay, one step at a time. Okay, the other side of this wire is grounded. So I'm gonna take a little probe. And put it over here. We're gonna go into this wire right here. So now this is battery ground. All right, now I'm gonna take I'm gonna go to my test light under the car. Okay. Now, I've got here my test light, and I'm connected to battery negative. Let's put it to battery positive if I find the ground. It lights up. So now I should have a ground on um, the pin we were on before. Four from the end. One, two, three, four. From right here, I should have a battery ground. And I don't. All right, I think this probe is broken, so. Let me just pierce into the wire right here. Alright, I should have a battery ground here. And I don't. So I clearly have a broken wire. Because right here, if I hit a battery ground, it lights up. Unless the only other answer is maybe my ground over there is no good. So let me go test that in the front. Let's see, does this light up? Yes, it does. So, the only answer is we have a broken wire right here. It's not a fuse box. It's not, it's just a broken wire. Now, the question is how do we find this broken wire? Or do I just run an overlay? Now, I hate running overlays. It's usually where there's one problem, there's another. Okay. So, I opened up this harness. And I found the purple wire, and I started pulling it, and it feels loose, so I turned the camera on. And right here, it's ripped. <laughs> so, this is our issue. Um, I'm going to fix this up. And then we should have voltage down at the bottom. It's like right behind this clip. There we go. Okay. And right here, that's the shot. I don't see anything wrong with the harness, but this wire right here is ripped. All right, I'm gonna have to fix this up, and that should fix our problem. All right, so try to open this harness a little bit. Okay. Hmm. There might be some more wires damaged over here. Let's take a close look at these. Alright, I think I'm going to have to add some solder to this because, I mean add some wire, because it looks like it's pretty rough shape right over here. Alright, fix this up. I'll bring you back. Okay. 
let's see. Let's strip this wire back. Eh, not too bad. Didn't go too deep. And we'll snip off the end over there. This end. Yeah, this one's worse. I'm just gonna make it wider, make it longer instead of trying to clean that. There we go, that's nice clean wire. Clean enough, I'll run some sandpaper through it and some deoxit and make. Alright, so we need a piece of wire. This should be long enough. I have this old connector that got burnt. Let's find the right gauge. Yeah, this one looks the closest. Let's snip it off. Okay. Let's spray this guy. All right, so here's the repair. I soldered it over here and added it in this wire. Now, I'm gonna put this back in this harness. Look at all the sand coming out of here. tape around this I got to fix up the wire that I pierced Well, actually, let's just make sure that this power here first. So let me turn the key on. I turn the key on. I got my test light here. Now, if I get, if I hit a power, it lights up. And it does. Let's go over here in that wire. And it lights up. This car is fixed. I mean, I would recommend getting a new connector for here. Because there's no cap on it. I mean, there's a cap. There's no to click in. Let me shut the car and I'm going to fill that hole up. tape this up after. Let me just make sure this is good. Plug this guy back in. All right. Let's just tuck this back in here. 
some tape on it. But let me go check, make sure the car is fixed. So let's turn the key on. All right, the engine light's still on, but it could be just because I didn't clear the coats. Let's exit this. Okay, let's just see. Yeah, that's fine. Passed and failed. Passed and failed. Transmission control module. EBCM. Okay, it's all history. One current, actually. Same one. Okay, fine. Turn the key on. Let's clear DTCs. All right, the only code we have is invalid data. I don't know what that's for. I'm not going to deal with that now because I don't think it's going to cause the engine light. Right now, the engine light's off. No lights on the dash. Now, let's just make sure. Let's go into the chassis control module. Make sure we see voltage over there. Read data stream. Select all. There we go, ignition one signal, 14.5. Alright, this car's fixed. It was a broken wire in the harness. Um, Alright, thanks for watching.